Hello friends, this video is another episode of our current affairs 10 question series. Topic for today is RBI's new guidelines on priority sector lending. In the first week of September 2020, the Reserve Bank of India has revised the priority sector lending norms. As per the new guidelines, loans up to rupees 50 crore for startups in agriculture and MSME sector would be given under the priority sector. So basically, priority will be given to two sectors, agriculture and MSME sector. This apart the lending limit for the health infrastructure has also been doubled to rupees 10 crore. Earlier it was 5 crore and now it has been doubled to 10 crore. So now let's begin our 10 question here. Question number 1. What is priority sector lending? Priority sector lending means giving certain fraction of overall loans by a bank to certain vulnerable sectors that is in need of immediate attention sectors as designed by the RBI from time to time. By vulnerable we mean that these are small sectors and may not appear attractive to banks to provide them loans for example for farmers, small businessmen, students etc. may find it very difficult to access institutional credit. So to make sure that adequate institutional credit flows into these sectors, RBI sets aside some targets for the banks which are called priority sector lending targets. I hope it's clear now. Moving on to question 2. What are different broad sectors under priority sector lending? As of now, RBI has divided all legible priority sector lending sectors into 8 broad categories. These are 1. Agriculture 2. Micro, small and medium enterprises 3. Export credit 4. Education 5. Housing 6. Social infrastructure 7. Renewable energy 8. Other sectors that is miscellaneous. So now question 3. What is history of priority sector lending? Priority sector lending was defined for the first time in 1972 by Dr. K.S. Krishnaswamy Committee. This committee defined priority sector lending only after the National Credit Council emphasizes that there is need to be a larger involvement of commercial banks in priority sector. Now here at this point, you should know when the National Credit Council NCC was formed. The National Credit Council was set up in December 1967 to determine the priorities of bank credit among various sectors of the economy. For the first time, RBI set 33.33% share of their total loans to priority sector. Thus, priority sector lending in India is there since 1974. Next, question 4. What is the current total share of loans that banks need to provide to priority sector. Currently, the different bank categories have different shares of the adjusted net bank credits to be given out to the priority sector. Now, adjusted net bank credits A and B C means total loans given by the bank. For this purpose, RBI has set targets for domestic commercial banks, foreign banks, regional rural banks and small finance banks. These are as follows. Every domestic commercial bank and every foreign bank operating in India with more than 20 branches needs to provide 40% of their total loans to priority sector. Of this 40%, 18% should be given out to agriculture, 7.5% should be given out to micro, small and medium industries, while 12% of this 40% should be given out to other weaker sections. So one fact here you should keep in mind that maximum share is of agriculture in percentage terms for domestic commercial banks and foreign banks having branches greater than 20. For 
the foreign banks having less than 20 branches rpi has stipulated 40 percent of its total loan to priority sector of which it can provide maximum 32 percent to export units and at least 80 percent to other sectors for regional rural banks rpi has set a very high target for priority sector lending as per rpi norms Every RRP regional rural bank has to provide 75% of its total loans to priority sector. Of this, 18% should be for farm sector, 7.5% should be for MSMEs, 15% for weaker sections. So why there is so much high target for RRPs? It's because RRPs banks operating at the regional level because its regional nature it has a close proximity to the sector's priority sector lending now similarly the finance the small finance banks which were started in india to serve the weaker section only rbi has said 75 percent of the total loans to be given out to priority sector moving on to question five what is covered in farm sector under the priority sector loans scheme? RBI has divided agriculture sector into three subcategories. These are farm credit, agriculture infrastructure, and ancillary activity. Now, ancillary literally means other necessary supports to the main activity. Farm credit means loans to individuals, small and marginal farmers self-help groups and joint liability groups for agriculture and allied activities such as dairy fishery animal husbandry poultry beekeeping and sericulture just to add joint liability groups is a concept started by nabad in 2014 for providing credit to marginal farmers and this is on similar pattern to self-help groups next point agriculture infrastructure also included construction of various facilities such as warehouses market yards go downs silos uh, silos are the pits on farms to store grains cold storage units and chains for farm produce also projects such as soil con conservation and watershed development projects plant tissue culture and agri biotechnology seed production production of bio pesticides bio fertilizer and vermicomposting eligible ancillary activities includes loans for marketing of farm produce setting up agricultural clinics and agri businesses centers and also food processing units rbi has now allowed rupees 50 crore loan for agriculture related startups in recent guidelines now let's move on to question number six what is covered in micro small and medium enterprises sector in priority sector lending scheme any loan to msme industries for their business purposes comes under priority sector now msmes have been defined by ministry of micro small and medium enterprises in 2006 as per investment limit in plant and machinery that is on the basis of investment limit in plant plant and machinery so the loans to msme include such as loans to khadi and village industry sector loans to entities which provide input to artisans uh, village and cottage industries and their cooperatives loans to microfinance institutions which in turn use their loan to disperse to msme microfinance institution mfis are organizational institutions that provide finance to small businesses and low income populations so next are the loans under various schemes related to msme scheme overdraft under pradhan mantri jandhan yojana up to rupees 5000 what is overdraft overdraft simply means deficit in the bank account so priority sector lending covers overdraft under the pradhan mantri jandhan yojana up to rupees 5000 outstanding deposits with sidbi and mudra limited 
on account of priority sector shortfall. It also includes export credit. MSME sector now also includes agriculture startups under the priority sector lending scheme and RBI has put a cap of 50 crore sorry rupees 50 crore for that question number 7 what are education loans under the priority sector loans education loans include loans to individuals for educational purposes including vocational courses up to rupees 10 lakh vocational courses are the occupational skill courses what are these sectors under the priority sector scheme question number eight some other sectors include housing such as home loans to various government agencies for building cost effective houses social infrastructure such as building schools healthcare facilities drinking water facilities and sanitation facilities Renewable energy loans for facilities such as solar power based generators, biomass based power generators, wind mills, micro hydro plants, and for non conventional energy based public utilities, namely street lighting systems and remote village electrification. Question number nine What are the weak sections of society covered under the priority sector lending? So, priority sector lending schemes cover sections of society such as small and marginal farmers rbi defines marginal farmers as one with less than one hectare of the land one hectare means eleven thousand nine hundred fifty nine yards and small farmers as one with one to two hectare of land so basically those having less than one hectare of land are marginal farmers and people and the farmers having a uh, land with one to two hectare of land are small farmers so next weaker section of the society covered under the priority sector lendings are artisans of village and cottage industries what are cottage industries cottage industries are businesses which are carried out at people's homes poor so next uh, category is poor people who are beneficiaries of various job schemes of government people belong to sc and st distressed farmers indebted to non-institutional lenders as private money lenders women persons with disabilities minorities moving on to the last question of this video question number 10 question number 10 what are the new things in PSL norms recently released by RBI? The recently released guidelines have tried to augment the funding to segments including startups and agriculture. As per revised guidelines, bank finance of up to Rs 50 crore to startups, loans to farmers both for installation of solar power plants for solarization of grid connected agriculture pumps and for setting up compressed biogas plants have been included as fresh categories eligible for finance under the priority sector so basically there are two takeaways from recent guidelines one is loans to farmers in the field of solar power plants and other is compressed biogas plants that's all for today thank you friends